I slipped into the snug, pink, sleek leotard, a shimmering, that clung to my body like a second skin. The room's mirror reflected the figure I had concealed for far too long, and the bunny ears perched atop my head only added to the whimsical charm of the ensemble. Tonight, I wasn't afraid to embrace my hidden desires. Halloween was the perfect occasion to reveal a secret I'd kept locked away for years. As I adjusted the bunny ears in the mirror, a sense of both excitement and anxiety coursed through me. Jenny, my best friend and longtime crush, was throwing a Halloween party, and this was the night I had chosen to reveal my true self. Nervously, I stared at my reflection. The leotard showcased curves that I had hidden beneath baggy clothes and layers of doubt. I turned and admired how it accentuated my feminine side, a side I had struggled to suppress, fearing the judgments of others. But tonight, I was determined to be unapologetically me. With a deep breath, I made my way to the party, where the warm glow of orange and purple lights bathed the room. The chatter and laughter of our friends filled the air, but my focus remained on Jenny, who was dressed as a bewitching sorceress. She looked stunning, and I hoped my costume would match her allure. As I entered the room, heads turned and conversations fell silent for a moment. I felt exposed, vulnerable, but I couldn't waver now. A smile spread across Jenny's face as her eyes met mine, and it was a smile of genuine appreciation. My heart soared as I approached her, and she whispered, You look amazing. My fears melted away, and the night turned into an unforgettable celebration of self-acceptance. In my simple yet sexy costume, I danced, laughed, and reveled in the newfound freedom of expressing my true self. Jenny and I grew closer, and as the night came to an end, we shared a tender moment. It was then that I knew, no matter the costume or the circumstances, being true to myself was the most beautiful thing I could ever wear. As weeks turned into months, the Halloween party became a turning point in my life. I began to explore and embrace my feminine side more openly. I found a community of friends who were supportive, loving, and accepting of my journey. I started experimenting with makeup, learning the art of blending colors to highlight my features and enhance my natural beauty. My closet began to fill with a variety of outfits that allowed me to express myself in different ways, from elegant dresses to casual ensembles that showcased my evolving style. Jenny continued to be an essential part of my life, and our bond deepened. She was not only my confidant but also my mentor, guiding me through the intricacies of fashion and makeup with patience and encouragement. Her acceptance and love helped me gain the confidence I needed to fully embrace my femininity. One day, we embarked on a shopping spree together. Jenny's eyes sparkled with excitement as we explored boutiques, thrift stores, and makeup shops. She helped me pick out clothes that made me feel beautiful and makeup that accentuated my features. With every new addition to my wardrobe, I felt a growing sense of self-empowerment. Over time, my feminization journey allowed me to understand and appreciate the beauty and diversity. It wasn't just about the clothes or makeup, it was about discovering my true self and feeling comfortable in my own skin. I realized that femininity and masculinity are not binary. They exist on a spectrum, and I was somewhere in between, and that was perfectly okay. As my feminization continued, I faced challenges and uncertainties, but the love and support of those around me helped me navigate them with grace. I learned that being true to myself was a lifelong journey, and I was determined to embrace it with all the strength, confidence, and love I had discovered along the way.